kwakire abashitsi bakuru bagana mu byicaro byabo komeza bagana mu byicaro byabo reka tukomeze tubakirize amashyi Education, our guest of honor, chairperson of the Governance Council of Kepler College, Chief Executive Officer of Kepler, President of Southern New Hampshire University, representatives and dignitaries from Rwanda government and private institutions, all Kepler and Southern New Hampshire University staff, distinguished guests, employers, parents, and guardians. Parents here for students who hail from as far as Burundi, Kenya, Uganda, Sierra Leone, Gabon, and DRC, Kepler alumni, student representatives, graduates whom we celebrate today, we thank you all for coming to celebrate with the entire Kepler community. Nyakubawa, Minister Uburezi, Mukaba Numeshitz Mukuru, Muri Bibirori. Banya Kuboha, Bayozi Munzego Standokanye, Bashitsi Bahire, Babjei, Namge Basangwa, Banya Shudit Kiziza, Uimunsi, Maramse Murakazaneza, Mumuhango, Woki Fatanyanatwe, Kiziza, Kunshuro Yamunani, Abanya Shudi Basoje, Ichichiro Chakabi Chakaminoza, Munisaus and New Hampshire University, Kufatanyana Kepla. Mohawikaze, Muri Bibiori, Kandi Dutewe, Ishema, Nokubana Name, Muri Chichomba. Mogutanjira, Nimunya Merere, Bajezeho, Inchamache, Yagahunda, Yebibiori. Numayimutamba Jiro, Wabanya Shuriba Soje, Chicho Chakabi Chakaminoza, Wagana Mujicharobjabo, Turahaguruka, Turimbe, Indirimbo, Yuba Hiriza, Jihugu, Turaza, Kwachiri Jambo, Jikaze, to Jesgoho, Numunyozi, Wina, Mayo Tejitsi Akepla, Numayaho, Halawaho, Omohango Nirizina, Wokushimira, Burimunya Shuri, Muraba, Batera Nirijahano, Kubera, Inhamge, Komeva Te, Harakuri Chiraho, Kumvijambo, Yohagari, Abanya Shuri Basoje, Amasomo Yavo, Dese, Nuhagari, Abajize, Umurjango Mugari, Wabasoje, Amasomo, Turaza Kandi, Kwachira ijambo ry'umuyobozi mukuru wa Southern New Hampshire University turaza kugera mu mwanya mwiza wo kumva ijambo ry'umushitsi mukuru muri bibiyori nyakubaho ministry w'uburezi turasoza twakira impanuro z'umuyobozi mukuru wa Kepler nyuma hafatwe ifoto y'urwibuzo Honorable guests may you please uh, take your seats To begin the commencement, allow me to give you a quick overview of the processions. We are about to join our hands together to welcome our graduates who are the stars of the day. Once the graduates are seated, we shall sing the national anthem 
then listen to the chairperson of the Governance Council of Kepler College for his welcoming message. Following his remarks, the process to honor the Southern New Hampshire University graduates will then commence. The assistant academic registrar will join the stage to lead the commencement. Then a message from a representative of the class of 2023, followed by remarks from the alumni president. We shall have a short but amazing performance from our students, followed by the graduation keynote address by the president of Southern New Hampshire University. We will be honored to hear from our guest of honor after the keynote address. Last but not least, the chief executive officer of Kepler will give her vote of thanks. We shall conclude with a group photo, entertainment, and some refreshments. Muraka Kanya, ni mwenye merere tukwa chire, abanye shuri, tukihiza uwe monsi, mumutamba jiro uwele ijisho, uwe mutamba jiro urayoboluwa na assistant academic registrar, tulaba gara gara za ibjishi mo bjinshi nubuguzu, mumashi menshi, murakozi. Well seated. Let us welcome our graduates as they enter the room. The procession will be ushered in by the assistant academic registrar. Let's welcome him as he enters. round of applause, let us welcome Southern New Hampshire University graduates with the following degrees. Bachelor of Arts in Management, Concentration in Logistics and Operations. Please welcome Southern New Hampshire University graduates with Bachelors of Arts in Healthcare Management with a concentration in Global Perspectives.
Let's give them a round of applause. And next we have Bachelor of Arts in Communications with a concentration in business. A round of applause as they come in. Thank you all for coming our beautiful stars of the day. Before we get to the next activity, kindly let us all stand up to honor and sing the national anthem. You could check on page eight in, your, in the booklet next to your seat, on your seat. Chachu, Wushi Misozi, Vivia Gani Virunga, Gopti do heads a gahora nisha, Leka to Kura, Te to Kufuki, Viki, Woe to Boom, be a hamlet, Quesavanyarwa, Duko to Jai. Verga sujira singis guite kam Hora ni mana mura jemiza Ibjo tu guche shani vishichirguam Umucho du sanji Ururi mirwa churuka duhuza Ubgenju muti mama boko ya chuni vigu kunga haze vikuye Nukuterimberu butita Abakurambere vinhwari 
Africa yo se no nura ganje mugi jenje me ye hu ko turi twe se come zi mi gor guanda du kunda du aguru chi e ku Guamahora sabe muva gutu ye. We see the wiza ne murib jose. Urangwenisha kuterimbere uham nu muva no na mahanga yose. Majisha warja weri guhi jambo. You may now take your seats. At this juncture, let us welcome the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academics and Research Affairs, Mr. Jean Pierre Mutambarungu, to welcome the chairperson of the Kepler College Board for his welcoming message. Good morning. Happy graduation day to our graduates. So I'm going to welcome our chairperson of the Governance Council of Kepler College. Uh, but before I do that, I want to uh, say a few words um, about Ambassador Professor Charles Murigande. Um, dear Honorable Minister of Education, Chairperson of uh, Governance Council, Kepler College, President of Southern New Hampshire University, all dignitaries and all protocol observed, it's an honor for me to welcome uh, Ambassador Charles Murigande, a veteran public servant, an educator, and the current chairperson of a governance council to come and give us some welcoming remarks. Ambassador, please. Honorable Gaspar Twagirayezu, Minister of Education, Dr. Paul Leblanc, President of Southern New Hampshire University, Mrs. Natalie Mnyamenda, CEO of Kepler, invited guests, all protocols observed, staff of Kepler, staff of Kepler College, Dear graduates, class of 2023, parents of graduates, students of SNU Kepler Partnership and of college, uh, Kepler College, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. <clears throat> On behalf of Kepler College community, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to our modest but very beautiful campus here at home. Thank you. Thank you for being here today to joyfully witness the graduation of class uh, of class 2023 of the Southern New Hampshire University. Kepler partnership. A special thanks goes to you, Honorable Minister of Education, for gracing this graduation with your presence. 
I warmly congratulate you, dear graduates, for this big milestone, which marks the completion of your undergraduate studies and the start of new beginning. It is also befitting to congratulate all the people who contributed to bringing you to this important milestone in your lives, especially your families, the academic and administrative staff of SNU, Kepler, and Kepler College. They have collectively and individually invested a lot of effort and resources into your education and have contributed to making this day happen. To all of them, I say thank you and congratulations for the job well done. <clears throat> Dear graduates, graduation is a great moment to reflect on your journey, the critical lessons you have learned, the knowledge, skills, and attitude you have acquired that made you the successful graduates we are celebrating today. But it is also an opportunity to identify and cultivate those that will serve as cornerstone for your journey ahead. In addition to those that you may have identified, allow me to share with you a few pieces of advice that I believe will serve you well in the new phase of your life if you follow them. Firstly, keep on learning. Although you have received solid and excellent academic training that has equipped you with all it takes to be successful on the job market or in further studies, I wish to remind you that graduation is not an end to learning, but rather a beginning for, am for amazing opportunity for practice-based learning. A few weeks ago, when I had a conversation with you, I reminded you of the famous quote by Alvin Toffler, which says that the illiterate of the future are not those who can't read or write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. If you stop learning, you will soon be considered illiterate and unemployable. I encourage you to be open-minded, to challenge your current knowledge, and to use every opportunity to upskill reskill, and acquire new, new knowledge. I can assure you that constant learning combined with humility and integrity will serve you well and act as a super engine for growth and transformation. Secondly, do not confine your job opportunity to your specific study. The meaning of, a of the degree that you are being awarded is that it certifies your demonstrated capacity to learn and master new knowledge and skills. I know that you have acquired transferable skills, including critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, collaboration, and communication. These skills combined with your ability to learn and adapt quickly, make you an ideal candidate for plenty of jobs, job opportunities. You should not hesitate to take them up, even if they aren't necessarily in your specific study area. Once you are in, I know that your innovativeness, resilience, and hard work will quickly set in and make you stand out. Thirdly, develop an attitude of getting things, things done. 
Once you get a job, opportunity, focus on getting things done. Be a team player, a reliable and dependable person. Strive to live peacefully with all your colleagues. Based on, on my life experience, I can assure you that if that getting things done on time and professionally will take your career to the next level very rapidly. Fourthly, and lastly, be a blessing to other people. The Argentinian poet, Antonio Porcia, once said that if those who owe us nothing gave us nothing, how poor we would be. Today, you are university graduates because people who owed you nothing decided to create Kepler SNHU partnership to give you quality higher education opportunity. I want to encourage you to be grateful and invest your lives in lovingly serving and blessing other people as you have been blessed. Do it without expecting any return from them, except the joy of seeing their lives transformed and fulfilled. Ladies and gentlemen, as I end my remarks, I wish to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Paul Loblo, president of Southern New Hampshire University, for accepting to partner with Kepler to offer an innovative and exemplary higher education space in its modernity and transformational impact. We value and cherish this partnership with SNHU and look forward to an exciting future. Congratulations once again, dear graduates. Enjoy your special day with your loved ones, and I wish you all the best. Thank you for your kind attention. Tukonjia tushimire, mwiyobozi winama yote jitsi ya Kepla College. Kujamborjiza atujejejeo. Nijamborje, ya shimie ababzei, ndesena wanye shuri tukizi izu yomusi. Ashimira uwiyobozi Uga Southern New Hampshire University. Kupofatanye, ndetse nimikola niremnyiza. Agaruka kandi kunama, nziza ya jirie abasoje amasomo yomusi. Arizo zikurichiru. Ya bajiri nama yoku kwa meza kuiga, kuko kuko mvise koba soja masomo baba bibeisi. Ya basabje kandi kutazanga akazi kadahuye neza neza nipjo vize, kuko yize lako vize kandi babo nye ubu shobozi, ubu menyi, uga bafasha nogu kora indi mirimo, Itajanye neza neza nipjo bizi. Yabajiri nama, yoku baka umucho, wogu kora ipjo bashinzwe, kandi mubunya munga, asoza, kanda basa wako, wabu mujisha kubandi. Deka tuko njere, tu shimiro ya muyobazi, ujambo jiza tujezeje. Right now, Ladies and gentlemen, is the moment we have all been waiting for. Allow us to welcome the Assistant Academic Registrar, Mr. Jean Shinimaka, to lead the degree handover of the proceedings.
Honorable Minister of Education, guest of honor, President of Southern New Hampshire University, Chief Executive Officer of Kepler, Vice President of Southern New Hampshire University, representatives and dignitaries from Rwanda government and private institutions, all Kepler and Southern New Hampshire University staff, distinguished guests, employers, parents, guardians, Kepler alumni and student representatives, graduates whom we celebrate today, good morning. On this special occasion, I have the pleasure to present to you 163 Southern New Hampshire University graduates who have completed their studies through Kepler program. And this is a class of 2023 from both Kigali and Kiziba campuses. They include 76 men and 87 women. Among them, 120 are from Kigali campus, while 43 are from Kiziba campus. As Kepler continues to maintain employment outcome over 90% within six months of graduation, I am glad to, that among those who are graduating today, already 70% are employed. Five percent are doing internships, which we hope will turn into jobs. And 25 percent who don't have jobs now, because they complete a few days ago, are being supported to transition. As I read the names, they will come in front, one by one, to pick the degree and take a picture with Kepler management and special guests on the podium. The protocol will support us in this activity. Thank you. So, as we usher graduates to the podium, I'm honored to welcome the Deputy Vice Chancellor of, and for Academic and Research Affairs at Kepler College and Vice President at Southern New Hampshire and Executive Director of, at Global Education Movement. Okay, apologies. Uh, we are going to invite instead the, the president of Southern New Hampshire University and the vice president of Southern New Hampshire University to help us to hand the degrees to our graduates. We are starting with 88 graduates who completed a Bachelor's of Art in Management with a concentration in Logistics and Operations. Alexis Gashema. <laughs> Aline Uizeye. <laughs> Alan Manzi. Ange Karine Wambahoro. Anne Aine Mbabazi. Anik Uwase. Arkad Tuisenge. Ariane Girubonu Uwase. Birkis Iradukunda, 
Blaze Niyigawa, Brian Mutsinzi, Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Who would believe that I could be happy and contented I used to think that happiness hadn't been but that was in the bad old days Before I met you When I let you Walk into my heart Congratulations And celebrations When I tell everyone That you're in love with me Congratulations And jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be I was afraid that maybe you thought you were above me That I was only fooling myself to think Calix you loved Kagabo. me Chantar Mujisha Clarice Monezero Claudine Omutoniwase Daniel Murengera Daniel Muhire Daniela Dushime Diedone Macheja Divine Ineza Eli Turinabo Dunia Emmanuel Manishimwe Emmanuel Rukundo Emi Kajiraneza, Emi Kwizera, Efode Nio Mutiza Esta Zaninga Evode Hategekimana Fedres Monezero Florence Nirabgiza Frédéric Dusabimana Gashabuka Munyaneza Gentille Mouchimie, Gilardin Ndoba Kawaiza, Gisèle Tuyishime, Gloria Kaitesi, Grâce Divine Omotoniwase. Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations 
Congratulations and jubilations. I want the world to know I'm happy as can be. Who would believe that I could be happy and contented? I used to think that happiness hadn't been invented. But that was in the bad old days before I met you. When I let you walk into my heart Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be I was afraid that maybe you thought you were above me That I was only fooling myself to think you'd love me But then to Gisele Rutawadirgwa Edouane Delors Jean Nemile Innocent Manirajena Innocent Rukundo Isai Gwijema Jackson Mugabo Kalisa Jean-Claude Rurinda Jean Damasen Nionsaba Jean Norbel Dihozo Jean Paul Nionguru Jennifer Omutoni Jocelyn Dushime Johnson Figo Jolie Uiringimana Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Who would believe that I could be happy and contented I used to think that happiness hadn't been invented But that was in the bad old days Before I met you When I let you walk into my heart Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Josué Ishema Rutaganira, Gilles Mawazo Ndajijimana, Gilles Chuzuzo, Justine Umurisa, Kate Karenzi, Kerry Sandrine Dushimimana, Kidumu Berabagabo, Randri Bjiringiro Lilian Mutesi Luis Benin Faustine Umgari Mujisha Ngabo Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Who would believe that I could be happy and contented I used to think that happiness hadn't been invented But that was in the bad old days before I met you When I let you 
walk into my heart Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be I was afraid that maybe you thought you were above me That I was only fooling myself to think you'd love me But then tonight you said you couldn't live without me That round about me you wanted to stay Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Mujisha ndayambaje Mupens niyo mugabo Nadej umutesi ndayisaba Ndabaruta ndanyuzwe Olivier Mupenzi Olemp Yvonne Ishimwe Opportune Utuje Pacific Wimbabazi Pamela Umutesi Paola Mugabe Kazi Patience Wase Ikirezi Patrick Muhire Patrick Ndaisaba Rafiki Shaka Richard Quizera Rikent Nimbunga Bunga Sadiki Gapira Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Who would believe that I could be happy and contented I used to think that happiness hadn't been invented But that was in the bad old days Before I met you When I let you walk into my heart Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be I was afraid that they didn't want you But then tonight you said you couldn't live without me That round about me you wanted to stay Congratulations. Set Abimana. Stephen Sunday. Tweet Habarujira. Vanessa Abanje. Vanessa Nicole Inhindi. Ive Ishimge. Yvette Tuishime. Yvette Bamurange Yvette Niramateka
The following 19 students have completed a Bachelor of Art in Healthcare Management with a concentration in Global Perspectives. Arkad Fabrice Uonghunda. <laughs> Aline Itege. <laughs> Betty Linda Nabwire. Brenda Merci Sewe. Chersa Corina Ingabire. <laughs> Concilia Meloka. Gloria Hirwa, Jean Doutillé, John Pita Ndikubgimana, Kerry Omugwaneza, Lea Munezero, Livingston Aihangane, Lorraine Shimirwa. Congratulations and celebrations when I tell everyone that you are Congratulations and jubilations. I want the world to know I'm happy as can be. Before I met you, when I let you walk into my heart Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me The Divin Nisengwe Umuhoza Mahoro Chuzuzo Rogers Isingoma Ruth Keza Sina Lamin Thierry Kanani Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Who would believe that I could be happy and contented I used to think that happiness hadn't been invented But that was in the bad old days Before I met you When I let you walk into my heart Congratulations and celebrations The following 56 students have completed the Bachelor's of Art in Communications with a concentration in Business. Aline Owase. Anne Raisa Iradukunda. Benita Uingabie. Blaise Hatangimana. Brian Gisa. Shantar Nyonshuti. Shantar Nirafuraha
Like I tell you, say, say that you him choose in one month, in one week. You will sing a new song in two days, a lesser than you will hear. Congratulations, you're a sinner. Charis Munyana, Claude Amani, Claudia Iratkumva, Claudine Masengesho, Damasen Mngambuta, Delis Ilisil Ishimge, Denis Irebere, Denis Umgari, Diane Mutoniwase, Dina Mutarutkwa, Donald Junior Furere, Drosera Muka Mashaka, Fidel Kamanzi, Fiston Shimimana, Francine Isabayo. Congratulations and celebrations when I tell everyone that you're in love with me. Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Who would believe that I could be happy and contented I used to think that happiness hadn't been invented But that was in the bad old days before I met you When I let you walk into my heart Congratulations and celebrations Giselle Gahigana Grace Wibabara Ines Uwayezu Mahoro Innocent Tkwizere Isaro Divine Carla Jacqueline Umurisa Janine Niwemucho Giovanni Abaisenga Jori Mutoni Jonas Gasore, Kamir Niramutuzo, Lucille Mujawa Maria, Lydia Rugori Rguera, Melissa Kungwa, Modeste Niseneza. Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be Who would believe that I could 
to be happy and contented I used to think that happiness hadn't been invented But that was in the bad old days Before I met you When I let you walk into my heart Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be I was afraid that maybe you thought you were above me That I was only fooling myself to think you'd love me But then tonight you said you couldn't live without me That round about me you wanted to stay Moses Rujira Musanavera Karagire Miriam Musinga Kazi Nadesh Irakoze Pacific Ishimwe Pacific Uera Parfait Tumukunde Providence Mukamanzi Queen Annette Mugabekazi Rebecca Uwabera Regis Lukundo Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the one who I'm happy as can be Who would believe that I could be happy and contented I used to think that happiness hadn't been invented But that was in the bad old days Before I met you When I let you walk into my heart Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be I was afraid that maybe you thought you were above me That I was only fooling myself to think you'd love me But then tonight you said you couldn't live without me That round about me you wanted to stay Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world Ruth to know I'm happy Samson Kamana Samuel Usabgimana Samuel Tsabimana Sandra Ishimwe Manzi Theogène Muhire Umutoni Zaninga Yvonne Niranchuti Happiness hadn't been invented 
but that was in the bad old days before I met you when I let you walk into my heart congratulations and celebrations when I tell everyone that you're in love with me congratulations and you relations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be I was a free myself to think you'd love me but then tonight you said you couldn't live without me that round about me you wanted to stay ladies and gentlemen there's our Sunu graduates whom we are celebrating today Congratulations and yes. celebrations. Invite President and Vice President of Southern University to take their seats. And I would like to invite our graduates to please stand up. Dear graduates, now put the degrees up and all together in loud voice mention three words that characterized your academic journey while at Kepler. To make this easy, I'm going to count one, two, three. One, two, three. Thank you so much. You may have your seat. And congratulations once again. Thank you so much, Academic Registrar. At this juncture, we shall hear from the representative of today's graduates of Southern New Hampshire University through Kepler. Welcome, Ms. Aline Itege. Thank you. Honorable Minister of Education, the Chair of Governance Council of Kepler College, Chief Executive Officer of Kepler Rwanda, the President and Vice President of Southern New Hampshire University, employers and partners, representatives and dignitaries, from Rwanda government and private institutions, all Kepler and Southern New Hampshire University staff, distinguished guests, our beloved parents, guardians, and Kepler alumni, my fellow graduates, good morning. <laughs> my name is Aline Itege, and today, we stand at the threshold of a new chapter in our lives. It is an honor to represent the graduating class of 2023 on this momentous occasion as we celebrate not only our academic achievements, but also the incredible journey we have embarked upon. To my fellow graduates, our path to this moment has been marked by, by late night assignments, challenging notes on College for America projects, countless office hours, 
and worse, the COVID-19 pandemic. But with our strong determination to succeed, we overcame the obstacles, both personal and academic. And here we are, in our caps and gowns, with our degrees. Our hard work and perseverance has brought us to this significant milestone. Once again, let's give us a round of applause. It is very important to remember that we did not do this alone. Our families, friends, our dedicated educators here have been our pillars of support. As we step into the future, we should embrace change and saturnity, but also accept to learn with positive attitude and mindset. Life beyond these walls of school will present to us new challenges, new opportunities, and new horizons to explore. Our experiences at Kepler has prepared us to adapt and excel in a rapidly changing world. It is very essential to my fellow graduates that we carry the spirit of curiosity, resilience, adaptability and perseverance with us. Each one of us has a unique story and a unique path to follow. Some of us have already secured jobs, others will continue with our education. Some will enter the workforce and others will embark on various adventures. No matter where life takes us, Let's always and always remember that success is not solely defined by financial or professional achievements. It's about finding our passion, serving our communities, and striving for a better world. Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. I really believe that Kepler equipped us with the 21st century skills that now we are ready to be the driving factors in changing the world. However, we should never lose sight of importance and empathy and compassion. In the world that can sometimes seem divided and chaotic, it's our responsibility to be beacons of understanding and unity. Together, we can make a positive impact, whether on a local or a global scale. To Kepler staff, we appreciate your commitment, patience, and advice. Despite your busy schedules, you still got time for us always. We will never forget our academic advisors who tracked our competencies and reminded us of module cycles opening when we couldn't even remember ourselves. Without you, none of us would be here today. You inspired us and believed in us when we couldn't even believe in ourselves. You gave us a push when we needed it the most, and you helped us realize our career goals. Thank you. Babyeyi bacu bavandimwe namwe nshuti zacu muteraniye hano tubashimiye uruhare rukomeye mwagize mu iterambere ryacu kuba turi hano uyu munsi ni ikimenyetso kigaragaza neza ko uburere mwaduhaye bwagize umusaruro ukomeye kwizera neza ko ubumenyi ntacyo bwatumarira igihe nta burere dufite tubashimiye ko mwatubereye isoko y'uburere bwiza n'ubupfura kandi byatubereye ikiraro cyatugejeje ku nsinzi turimo twishimira uyu munsi tubasezeranyije gukomeza kuba indashyikirwa no kunoza umurimo mu gusoza ndisabira ababyeyi gukomeza kutuba hafi nkuko babitugaragarije mu gihe twarabanyeshuri hano kuri Kepler in conclusion the road ahead may be uncertain but our potential is very limitless. As we move forward, 
Let's harness the knowledge and skills we gained here to create a better future for ourselves and for the world. Our collective experiences and aspirations have the power to shape a better tomorrow for us. Once again, congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. I have no doubt that each and every one of us will go on to achieve great and great things in life. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Aline, for your wonderful speech. Let us now hear from the Head of Investment and Social Impact at Equity Bank of Rwanda, who is also the president of our alumni association, as she welcomes our graduates to the Alumni Association. A round of applause for Ms. Alice Kirezi. Uh, Honorable Minister of Education, Governing Body, Management of Kepler, uh, distinguished guests, parents and guardians, graduating class of uh, 2013, Ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Ngara Mutsemura Ho. Yeah, it is with a great honor for me to be back at home to celebrate and congratulate the graduating class of 2023. On behalf of Alumni Association and my own behalf, I take this honor to welcome you to Generation Rwanda and Kepler Alumni Association. <laughs> Reflecting on my own journey in uh, Generation Rwanda and Kepler, I think mine started sometime back in 2019. My vision was really blurry. I did not have a lot to see. What I had was uh, a seed of hope and a dream to chase that only Generation Rwanda and Kepler made a reality. So uh, I am letting you know that you are here, you are graduating, but you are starting all over again. Uh, choosing and being chosen to belong to this program did not only pave a great way, a brighter future for us. It also provided us a family to belong, a place to go to for career guidance, for emotional support, a round table we draw to, looking for personal growth, business opportunities, and like-minded networks. It's Generation Rwanda and Kepler Alumni Association for which we welcome you today with pleasure and honor. Congratulations one more time. I commend you for the determination, hard work, resilience you put in it to pursue and achieve this mega success. Uh, I want to share with you a brief of how we really, you guys have an opportunity that we didn't have uh, some time back 2019, when we were current, uh, 2009, when we were students like you are. Today, when you go to the labor market and you're competing with someone that, that is coming from where we are coming from, you're so set apart, you're so distinguished. It's easy to notice this person, this student, this candidate comes from Kepler. Really, uh, we thank you, management, we thank your governing body. You are producing very strong labor to the market, not only for themselves, but for the country and the world at large. We really uh, feel so honored to belong to you. So, yes, we all recognize that to be awarded a degree from Kepra requires hard work, it requires discipline and consistency. It's not doing the right thing now and you drop out tomorrow. That does not work here and that is why you have your gowns on today. So, uh, left with no doubts, you have exhibited the necessary commitment to learn, to acquire, to reproduce knowledge and develop expertise. I'm excited about your accomplishment and hope 
that as you depart from the four walls of this campus, you'll be shining examples and solution providers to the world given values that you acquired from this place. Ladies and gentlemen, Generation Rwanda Kepler Alumni Association has a vision. It's a vision to foster a lifelong impactful connection, not only among alumni, not only uh, with Kepler current uh, students, but also with the community in which we live. So, uh, dear alumni, upon receipt of this, uh, these degrees, you automatically become our university alumni. You join a community of more than 1,000, including Kepler and Generation Rwanda, with an employment rate of over 90%. This is not something simple. This is not something you can achieve at any campus. You can only achieve it at such distinguished and uh, set-apart institution like Kepler. So I welcome you to the ever-growing and diverse community. We all are Kepler ambassadors. While they keep applauding our success and achievements as alumni, but we are also challenged. We are challenged to not only forget our alma mater, but to start contributing intentionally to Kepler whenever we are called to. So if we are called to volunteer on committees and boards, please to Zitabe Karame. If we are called to participate on campus events to give back to the university community, please to Zitabe Karame. If we are called to offer mentorship to our current students, to Zitabe Karame. If we are called to support recent graduation, uh, graduates as they start their career, please to Zitabe Karame. Uh, I want to challenge you to think of Harvard University Endowment Fund. It's a value, I think, it's now over 50, 50 billion US dollars, the largest academic endowment in the world. I challenge all of us, I challenge us here, I challenge all of us watching online, I challenge every Kepler GR alumni, let's think about it, let's run this race together, and yes, we can. With you, the flag of Kepler can fly up to the greatest heights. So, mvuze mu Kinyarwanda ku babyeyi bacu, inshuti zacu, abarezi bacu, nagira ngo mbashimire ko mwizeye iki kigo nkuko nabajeyi bacu bakizeye mukaza nabanyeshuri ngira ngo uyu munsi murabibona ko mwahisemo neza cyane. Kubanyeshuri rero murangije kaminuza iki ni kicicuro cy'ambere ari byiciro byinshi kandi mufite abandi mureberaho. Ku isoko ry'umurimo ntagomba kanga ariko nta butesi buhaba. Gusa ndabizi ko mwatojwe hard work, consistency and discipline. You can really do well, you can be perfect, you can come up with distinctions but back kuri leba market ku isoko ry'umurimo dusabga byinshi dusabga byinshi birenze kubonisha na kwijana dusabga to keep time dusabga to to deliver kandi tuka delivering with the sense you muri munozi and more importantly we are required to have the right attitude you can be really smart but you need the right attitude to grow right attitude uh, attitude to grow attitude to work with everyone attitude to support others, and attitude to accept support. So you are welcome in a labor market where you're not given a lot of second chances. I'm not threatening you, but I'm pre preparing you to, to keep the momentum. I know you have a lot, I know you have achieved a lot, not only academically, but in character, in everything, emotionally, but you're also required to offer more, to accommodate more when you come to the labor market. So, twagiriwe neza kubona aya mahirwe ni tugira amahirwe tuzayitura abatugire neza ariko ni tutanayagira reka tuzagire neza abandi tutanazi eh abana bacu dufita amahirwe baziga hano CEO and the management we only wish through you guests of honor we could have uh, many of these universities i know we do 
ariko tugira ubumenyi buri market driven something that we don't get most of the time but here we get market driven skills it's something we applaud so much for so uh na alumni na no netwa haikaze muraza mwisanga tuze dufatanye kubaka ugacu twiyubake twubaka bandi twubaka igihugu and i congratulate you one more time thank you for this time Welcome to the world of alumni. Thank you so much, Miss Alice, for a very beautiful speech. Uh, a slight change in the agenda. Uh, please. Let us welcome the president of Southern New Hampshire University, Mr. Leblanc, for his message. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. This is graduation, graduates. Good afternoon, everyone. There we go. I begged to go next because I didn't want to go after Aline. Aline's speech was amazing. Who wants to follow her? And then they said they were going to be dancers. Like, I'm not going to follow dancers. Aline and dancers, I'll be terrible. So I, I asked, and Natalie was nice. She let me come up next. I want to ask you to take a moment to give a big round of applause, graduates, to your families, because it's amazing. You are here because of them. You know, SNHU is quite large. We're the largest university in the United States today. We have 240, 224,000 students. And our graduations in New Hampshire are massive. Thousands of people fly in from all over. And they're amazing, because our graduates are amazing. This is a smaller graduation, but I don't think we have a more impressive group of graduates anywhere in the world. You guys, what you have done, your grit, your perseverance, what you have overcome, the journey you have taken, is like no other set of graduates anywhere in the world, and certainly here. Um, you have incredible skills now. I, by the way, I was told I can't use the phrase not yet any longer with you. How many of you hate the phrase not yet? There are no more not yets. You all have mastery. You have incredible skills. And you know how to do things. You know how to do the things that employers want. And as we enter an age of AI, which will change the nature of work and the future of work, the question will no longer be, what do you know? The question will be, what can you do with what you know? And you can do so much. You are positioned to compete in a global race and talent pool that, that I think few other graduates are, and certainly you have very few peers. And this is a testimony not only to the good work of Rachel and the GEM team and people who are cheering for you from the United States and beyond, but for our partners, Kepler. Kepler has been an amazing partner, and I remember my first visit here, and it wasn't to this campus, it was to a very small, modest facility, and graduation was in a tiny room. And as I stepped on this campus today, I was blown away. What you and your team have done, Natalie, is amazing. You are graduating from an extraordinary place, and we look forward to our partnership going forward. But even as I say, and I shouldn't say this on a celebratory day like this, You've finished your degree, you have the skills that employers want, you now get to start another game. Without a degree, you are not in the game. Now you're in the game, you have a degree. But you now have to prove yourself. Those entry-level jobs that people, college graduates start in the entry-level jobs, and you have to prove yourself. And that gets you to those medium-level jobs, and you have to prove yourself again. And then you have to prove yourself to get to those high-level jobs that we all covet. And when you're really successful in those jobs, you can take a look at the next organization, the next opportunity, the place where your career journey will take you. I have zero worries about you. You're here today because you've shown extraordinary persistence, skills, smarts, and creativity. And, and I wanna, if you'll allow me, to say a, a word about how this partnership began. Because we first came to Rwanda and Kigali to explore what we might do with Kepler. This was an organization that was new to us, and, we immediately loved the mission. We loved what Kepler was doing. And then we went up to Kaziba, and, and there was no program option there. And I remember that we gathered a group of young people who looked very much like you. This was 2014, so almost 10 years ago. And we asked, what would, 
what would you think if we could bring a college or university degree program to the camp? And it was as if a light shone in people's eyes. And they said, is that possible? And it was really because of our partners at Kepler who said, we can do this, that we answered yes. And that was the beginning of our work with our displaced people, our displaced learners. And, and I still think, you know, while we are in the business of education, that day reminds me all the time, and I think about it often, that Kepler and Southern New Hampshire University are in the business of hope. And, and it's hope for your future, but it's hope for your children's future, the children you may have today or someday. It's hope for the generations that follow. It's honoring the generations that came before. Africa needs you. Rwanda needs you. I love this quote I saw on a visit we did to Ekamoko a couple of days ago. It said, all problems on the continent already have solutions on the continent. You are the solution. You are the future. You are what your country needs. You're what Africa needs. You're what the world needs. And we have enormous pride and expectation and hope for you. So I want to say congratulations to you all. There's a tradition, and I don't know that it's being done here, but in the US, everyone starts graduation ceremonies with their tassels on the right side of their cap. So put your tassel on the right side of your cap if it's not there now. Because the thing we do at the very end of every graduation in New Hampshire is a bit of legal language from me that says, by the power invested in me by the general court of the state of New Hampshire. Hmm? No, they don't need to stand. Do you want to stand? Stand. You've been sitting for a while. Everyone stand while I do this part. Natalie's right. You should stand. And I will say the language that will make this official in the United States when your degree is recognized. And the language is, by the power invested in me by the general court of the state of New Hampshire and by the board of trustees of Southern New Hampshire University, I now declare you graduates of Southern New Hampshire University and Kepler University. Congratulations. You can move your tassel now from the right to the left. That's the final bit of our ceremonial piece. We're incredibly proud of you. Congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. Congratulations and celebrations. Thank you so much, Mr. President, for a very, very beautiful message. Another round of applause. Please allow us one and a half minutes for the alumni president. She has a special declaration to make with the alumni. Thank you one more time. Uh, we are going to go through the alumni uh, declaration. Dear graduates, congratulations on your graduation. As you graduate, what is your commitment? Thank you. Before we officially welcome you to the Alumni Association, please tell us your commitment to the mission, vision, and objectives of uh, GR and Kepler Alumni Association. Thank you. We officially welcome you to the Generation Rwanda Kepler Alumni Association. Congratulations and celebrations when I tell everyone that you're in love with me. Thank you, Alice, for welcoming our new graduates uh, to the uh, Alumni Association. So now, as we continue to celebrate, let us put our hands together for the fantastic Kepler Cultural Ballet as they give us a special performance. Let's give them a big round of applause.
Senga Musa, Gia Miri, Narongo, 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 of applause for our traditional dance troupe. So, and we're going to invest in uh, having more uh, traditional dance and Kenya Rwanda and art from, from Rwanda. And for our international students, you have to bring your culture to us so that we can add that as well. Uh, before I do my vote of thanks, I wanted to invite uh, the Honorable Minister of Education, to, who is our guest of honor, to give his remarks. Uh, Gaspar Twagirezu was the Minister of State of Education before that, um, of primary and secondary school. Um, 
primary and secondary education, and he was also an analyst in the office of the president. He has a master's degree from Oklahoma Christian University. Very quiet and humble man who has done a lot of policy writing in this country. Uh, please join me in welcoming the, the Honorable Minister of Education. Thank you very much, Natalie. To the chairperson of the Governance Council of Kepler College, the president of Southern New Hampshire University, the vice president of Southern New Hampshire University, and the executive director of the Global Education Movement, leaders of uh, different higher learning institutions, if they are present here, uh, graduates whom we celebrate today, good afternoon. <laughs> Allow me to begin by extending my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. You all look absolutely fantastic. And I am thrilled to join you today in celebrating the remarkable achievements of the class of 2023 from Kepler and the Southern New Hampshire University. I want to extend my warm wishes to our graduates from our sister African countries. We are genuinely delighted to have you here and we take immense pride in your accomplishments here. I would also like to express my gratitude to the Southern New Hampshire University and the Kepler leadership for their support in guiding these graduates to the completion of their studies. Also, a thank you is also due to the parents and families present here today for your encouragement and support. I know you have just graduated, but allow me to use this opportunity to give you just one more homework. As you step into the next chapter of your lives, I want you to understand the immense expectations we have of you. The world of business is evolving at a rapid pace, and it is becoming more and more complex. In this landscape, the ability to adapt, innovate, and embrace change will be the defining factor between success and stagnation. And in Africa, we cannot afford to follow linear paths to progress. We must leapfrog, embracing technology as our catalyst for transformation. For a second, picture an Africa where education transcends physical boundaries, reaching every corner of our land thanks to technology. Envision healthcare becoming accessible to the remotest villages, connecting patients with doctors, saving lives, and nurturing well being. Imagine agriculture transforming guided by weather forecasting apps and digital marketplaces, ensuring sustainable practices and bountiful harvests. Envisage financial inclusion, breaking barriers, empowering individuals in rural areas, fostering economic growth and reducing poverty. And please see technology acting as a guardian in environmental conservation, monitoring wildlife, preserving ecosystems, and ensuring sustainable resources management. And visualize disaster management being fortified by early warning systems, predicting natural calamities, and enabling communities to prepare and safeguard lives and livelihoods. And our dear graduates, this is the future that you can help create. Kepler's Competency-based blended learning approach has equipped you with the skills necessary to navigate the complexities of the business world. And your adaptability and critical thinking abilities will make a significant impact wherever your career path may lead you. However, as you embark on your professional journey, please remember the virtue of humility. Of course, confidence is indeed crucial, but it must be tempered with humility. Your education equips you with knowledge 
But it is your humility that will allow you to truly understand the needs of your communities. It is through your ability to listen and learn that you will find the most innovative solutions, ones that create a genuine value for your companies and impact lives. The Continental Education Strategy for Africa 2016-2025 emphasizes the, needs, the need to create citizens who are effective change agents for sustainable development. Institutions like Kepler play a pivotal role in achieving this noble goal. As Kepler continues to expand, rest assured that our support will be unwavering, ensuring that growth of this institution becomes testament to the success of our education system. In closing, remember that your journey does not end here. It just transforms. You are not alone in this endeavor. And you are, as you were told, joining a vibrant community of Kepler alumni, a network of thinkers, dreamers, and doers who have faced similar challenges and emerged victorious. I urge you to engage with this community, learn from those who came before you, and together continue, continue the legacy of excellence. I am also delighted to learn that among the graduates today, 115 have already secured employment and 10 are completing internships in diverse sectors such as healthcare services, renewable energy, industry and agriculture, manufacturing, supply chain management, utilities management, banking, insurance, and technology services. To the employers present here, I urge you to offer support and provide development opportunities to these talented graduates. And once again, dear graduates, congratulations. As you move forward, always remember that the true measure of your success will not just be in the profit margins or market share. It will be in the lives you touch the communities you uplift, and the poverty you help eradicate. Thank you, and best wishes in your future endeavors. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Uh, I also want to extend my, my thanks to the government of Rwanda, uh, who have always uh, lended us a hand, but also uh, been available to us. I've worked in many governments, uh, many countries, and uh, it's not uh, often that you can invite a minister and he attends. So thank you very much for attending our graduation. We appreciate it. I also want to thank uh, Dr. Paul Leblanc uh, from Southern New Hampshire University. I think you already said it, but I think this is uh, one of the truer partnerships, if not the, the one partnership that we have where we feel like, even last night we had dinner and uh, Dr. Leblanc was saying to me, you know, how can we be better partners to you? And that kind of attitude is the reason why we continue to partner and are excited for the future. Um, so thank you, a sincere thank you to Southern New Hampshire University as well as Rachel. Rachel and I speak very often. So thank you as well for what you do for students. So you guys write to Rachel a lot and I hope you guys will stop writing to Rachel and solve your own problems from now on. Um, I also want to uh, thank the team at Kepler uh, who organized this graduation. Wherever you are, if you can stand so we can say thank you. This includes a team of staff and students. Thank you for your late nights. Um, if you know and you work with me, you know that I, I have very high expectations. And I just want to thank you for meeting the expectations. So can we do a snaps to Kepler staff and students who worked on this graduation? Thank you to the organizing committee. I want to thank uh, our parents, the parents of our students, our graduates who are here today. We hope they made a difference. Je veux aussi remercier les parents qui sont ici et francophones du Gabon, du Burundi, du Congo. Merci. 
Euh, merci pour votre soutien aux enfants et on vous remercie parce que vous nous avez donné ces charges et j'espère qu'on a bien... Uh, we met your expectations. Voilà. So thank you to employers. Thank you for hiring our graduates and thank you for the feedback you give us. I promise you that every single time I see students, I give them the feedback that you give us. And uh, one of, as you know, graduates, uh, one of the, the feedback we get the most often is, you guys are confident and a little too confident. Right? So I'm saying it so that the employers know that I do give the feedback. And I just want to share, as the Honorable Minister already said, humility and ethical behavior, being an ethical person, is the, is the long-lasting currency for a successful career. Talent can get you so far, but humility and ethical behavior, keeping that in mind, will get you far. I also want to thank the alumni. I saw a bunch of them here in the alumni committee for coming to support um, now your fellow alumni. We, we really appreciate your presence at every event and we, we know that you continue to support our graduates. A lot of the jobs that we send you guys on Tuesdays and Fridays come from alumni, so snaps to our alumni who are, are thinking about you guys. Um, I think I thanked everyone, including the troop. The troop was beautiful, right? They have done, made so much progress, and they've lost a lot of calories. This is a very difficult, uh, it's a good way to, to, to lose weight, if you're, if you're thinking about it. So, just as we close, we want to thank you, our graduates, for getting to the end, for your positive attitude and your good behavior. Silvio, thank you for looking so good and looking decent, so that I don't get comments at the end of this. Thank you for all you have done and congratulations to you. I just want to close. I always do this at graduation because I always think about when I was graduating for my undergraduate degree, I don't remember a single thing that was said. And I always think, what can I say to you that can remain in your minds? Because I forgot almost everything, I, literally, besides getting my degree. I want to share, the minister and Paul and even uh, Ambassador Murigande shared about keep on learning, but I want to come back to something Ambassador Morigani mentioned. Keep your head down and do the work. We've taught you at, at uh, SNU's uh, amazing program. By the way, the competency program is SNU's, not ours. Uh, we add on, but they, the foundation is from Southern New Hampshire University. Um, they have taught you how to give your opinion, right? A lot of you stand up in class and share what you think, share your thoughts. And even when the, the answer is not that great, what do your teachers and your academic advisors say? They're like, oh, that's an amazing contribution. Excellent, right? The workplace does not work like that. If you give a, an idea that is not necessarily very good for the business, they will say, no, I don't think so. Uh, they will give you direct feedback. And I want to share that that is the way it should be. You should accept feedback. You should learn and keep your head down and do the work. Do more listening than speaking, because one thing about Kepler graduates, they know how to speak. I think Delors said it in the video, je suis comme un politicien. We, we've given you strong skills in, in, of communication, but I want to encourage you to keep your head down and do the work. Build expertise so that you can speak from expertise and not opinions. Congratulations to you. We're going to take a photo together, and we're going to dance, and we're going to enjoy, and then tomorrow the rest of us are going to get back to work. Take care. Thank you so much, um, Miss Natalie. So we are coming to a close of this event and would like to request very quickly that our dear, beautiful and handsome graduates come to the front here and we take a memorable photo with our honorable guests. So please, very quickly and very orderly, you're going to come here and protocol is going to help you. And we'll ask everyone else to stay in their room so that after the photo, we tell you what's going next. So, DJ, please play a beautiful song as they come close here.
protocol, help us to remove the chairs because we are going to use all this space. Please go back to your seats, dear graduates. Yes, I'm still here. My mama calls, she on TV. Son said shit done change ever since we was on. I dreamed it all ever since I was young. They said I won't be nothing. Now they always say congratulations. Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation. They ain't never had the dedication. Please take your seats, don't go yet. Dear lovely graduates, to us our future, and our day, to have given you the chance to Please stay seated, dear graduates. We, as we allow our dear dignitaries to to head out, everyone else will sit and. Uh, we can be listening to the DJ a little bit as they sit. So at this moment, we have two things that are next, two very important things. So one is entertainment and entertainment and entertainment, and two is refreshments. 
Okay, so we have one short performance we didn't get time for, and they are really, really dying to show you what they prepared for. So we request you for five minutes, and they show you what they have. And then after that, we request every graduate to guide the parent or the guardian to the refreshment area. So you guys will use the right, you'll find their protocol, and they will take you where you're supposed to have refreshments, okay? But before that, allow us to welcome the next dance troupe for five minutes, and then after that, we'll go for refreshments. Congratulations once again, and thank you so much. Tu vas, tu vas, tu vas. 